Tonight, part two of Madison County strong one year later. Here's local five meteorologist Dave Downey. We pick up our story at 430 that Saturday afternoon. The tornado about to touch down in Pamel Park. I just started scanning the skies looking for any kind of rotation in the clouds. And that's when I saw it starting to form off the distance. Uh, saw, saw the cloud rotation and saw it drop out of the sky. Train spotter has visually confirmed a large tornado southwest of Winterset. Debris is now visible. I was expecting to see like some little wispy thing and the thing was massive and it just stopped in your tracks. I believe that's about where the tornado is right now in this area uh, of 169 and Carver Road. It only took like a couple of seconds to realize that's not moving one way or the other. The, the roar was getting louder that it was coming towards us. I've never been so panicked in my life. That feeling of waiting and, and knowing that it's coming and it's gonna hit us, it's, it's the most frightening thing I've, I've ever experienced. Just not knowing what's going to happen, not knowing if our house is going to get sucked up off the foundation and blown away and if we're going to be able to live. Really, really scary. And you're just coming out of the car wash and the blowers are hitting your car. So that's kind of what the tornado sound like. Felt your face being sandblasted. My one daughter felt the shaking of her room, and my other daughter saw a crack in the wall getting bigger. And we heard our house getting ripped apart just over our heads. Lots of screaming, and you can even hardly hear yourself scream because it was so loud. There was that split second moment where you're, is the house is gonna go or it isn't, and by some miracle, the house took it. Adam went up first. I, I think he was upstairs for about 10 minutes and he yelled down at us, uh, you know, Jen, you need to come up and take a look at this. But I looked out our, our back door at this area that we're actually standing in now and I saw it was gone. Everything was gone. I lost it a little bit. Uh, you know, I was trying to stay brave for the kids, but that, at that point, that's when I, I lost it a little bit. The debris field is just, it was immense. We've had other storms but nothing, nothing like, nothing like that. Right about that time, the emergency room called and said, hey, uh, we're gonna need some help. We had, we had no idea what was to come. There was complete devastation, like a bomb went off. There was just people everywhere, uh, debris all over the road, trees all over. There's three occupants. Uh, they're all trapped in the residence. Hello? Sheriff's Office, can anyone hear me? The first phone call came in. Um, it was uh, one of the first paramedics on scene to Carver Road. He just shouted, um, like, this is bad. There are fatalities and you need to get help right away. And then the phone call ended. Friday night, Deputy Sheriff Ryan, Dispatcher Henry, and others recount those harrowing moments immediately after the tornado. Also, hear Don Hoag's 911 call right after the tornado hit. All right, and we are learning wow. just so much through these people graciously sharing mm -hmm. their stories of what really happened that day. Yeah, pretty chilling. It and, is. and the video of the tornado, uh, I've never seen that. We, uh, mm -hmm. we got that from somebody that was very close to the tornado. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty, pretty crazy stuff.